Hey Jules Bless Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So I've been talking nuts. <laughs> no, not talking nuts like crazy. Nuts as in protein, as in plant-based nuts. All right, so I covered pistachio. You're welcome to put benefits of. I covered walnuts. I covered Brazil nuts yesterday. And before I go on to my next nut, I want to share a little more about selenium, which is what Brazil nuts are so high in, and the benefits of selenium, well, I can say it, selenium in the body. Yes, I want this for all posterity. Let's find out the benefits of selenium and why we want to incorporate it. And again, if you go with Brazil nuts, which is like literally the number one uh, for highest content of selenium, you only need to eat one a day and you don't want to exceed three in a day like that is enough to get all the benefits um so let's go with it this is from healthline one of my favorites because it has a summary and a bottom line so seven science-based again that's why i appreciate healthline they always go with science-based they have hyperlinks if you want more information and of course i'll include in the description of the video science-based health benefits of selenium Though you may have never heard of selenium, this amazing nutrient is vital to your health. Selenium is an essential mineral, meaning it must be obtained through diet. It's only needed in small amounts, but plays a major role in important processes in the body, including metabolism and thyroid function. This article outlines seven benefits of selenium, backed by science. Number one, it acts as a powerful antioxidant. Antioxidants are compounds in food that prevent cell damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are normal byproducts of processes like the metabolism that are formed in your body daily. They often get a bad rap, but free radicals are essential for your health. They perform important functions, including protecting your body from disease. However, things like smoking, alcohol use, and stress, hello, <laughs> can cause an excess of free radicals. And this leads to oxidative stress, which damages healthy cells. Oxidative stress has been linked to chronic conditions like heart disease, Alzheimer's, and cancer, mm -hmm. as well as premature aging and risk of stroke. Antioxidants like selenium help reduce oxidative stress by keeping free radical numbers in check. Gotta love that. They work by neutralizing excess free radicals and protecting cells from damage caused by oxidative stress. Again, there's a summary, but because I'm going with the whole article, I'll leave that to you to read if you care to. Number two, may reduce your risk of certain cancers. Again, they have the same may instead of saying with total confidence will reduce because they would have to back the whole thing with tons of money, um, which Big corporations have, but not necessarily these smaller resources. And yet I trust these more because I know they're from the grassroots of individuals who have talked about their testimony. So in addition to decreasing oxidative stress, selenium may help lower the risk of certain cancers, and that's a hyperlink. This has been attributed to selenium's ability to reduce DNA damage and oxidative stress, boost your immune system, and destroy cancer cells. A review of 69 studies, so not 69 individuals in a study, 69 studies that were conducted. Wow. That included over 350,000 people. This is significant. Found that having a high blood level of selenium was associated with lower risks of certain types of cancer, including breast, lung, colon, and pros prostate cancer. I'd like to get my, <coughs> excuse me, my selenium level checked. That would be interesting. It's important to note that this effect was only associated with selenium obtained through foods, not supplements. And again, the ideal is through food. Seriously, that's why that one Brazil nut, who can't do that? I mean, whether you blend it in a smoothie, whether you shred it down and put it on your salad, whether you just crunch it, you know? Um, obtained through food is always best. However, some research suggests that supplementing with selenium may reduce side effects in people undergoing 
radiation therapy. Praise God, right? For example, one study found that oral selenium supplements improved overall quality of life and reduced radiation-induced diarrhea in women with cervical and uterine cancer. God bless them all. Number three, it may protect against heart disease. A diet rich in selenium may help keep your heart healthy as low selenium levels have been linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Again, I gotta figure out how to get my selenium tested. It's so interesting. In an analysis of 25 observational studies, a 50% increase in blood selenium levels was associated with a 24% reduction in the risk of heart disease. Selenium may also lower markers of inflammation in your body, one of the main risks for heart disease. Inflammation is rampant, right? Everyone, every time there's that pain, there's that ache, there's that stiffness, there's like all those things is inflammation in the body. Just, ah, uh, it's a tough time right now to be a human. For example, a review of 16 controlled studies. Again, that's a significant amount because it included even more than before, 40 433,000 people with heart disease showed that taking selenium supplements decreased levels of the inflammatory marker C-reactive protein. Additionally, it increased levels of glutathione peroxidase, which is a powerful antioxidant. This indicates that selenium may help lower heart disease risk by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress in your body. Oxidative stress and inflammation have been linked to arteriosclerosis or the buildup of plaque in arteries. Arteriosclerosis can lead to dangerous health problems like strokes, heart attacks, and heart disease. I am just shocked how many people, um, you know, in the media and, and just, you know, fame uh, are experiencing just seemingly out of nowhere in great shape. My gosh, what happened? <laughs> And of course, diet is everything, right? So you might look good on the outside, especially if you've done things to make it happen, enhancing yourself, uh, but you can't outrun a stroke or a heart attack or heart disease. Yeah, so prayers all around. Incorporating selenium-rich foods in your diet is a great way to keep levels of oxidative stress and inflammation to a minimum. I think I had to sneak it into my husband's diet. It helps prevent mental decline. Oh, thank you, Father. Let's keep our minds right up until the last breath. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating condition that causes memory loss and negatively affects thinking and behavior. It's the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. My father died from Lewy body dementia, um, which is a really creepy one in the sense that your it takes your body before your mind. So you go to reach for something, but your hand doesn't respond. You take a step, but your foot doesn't move. It, it's in the body first and then the mind ultimately. But it's all kind of derived from the same area. And I think it was so tragic. I was beyond blessed to care for my husband. My husband, Freudian slip, father. Freudian slip. You did not hear that. Erase that, please. Delete that thought from my father's last breath. Ah, may that never be my husband's truth. But it was really difficult, you know, uh, to see such an able man decline in that way. So the number of people with Alzheimer's disease is growing, thus finding ways to prevent this degenerative disease is imperative. Let's start with the diet, people. Oxidative stress is believed to be involved in both the onset and progression of neurological diseases like Parkinson's multiple sclerosis, and Alzheimer's. Several studies have shown that patients with Alzheimer's disease have lower blood levels of selenium. Additionally, some studies have found that the antioxidants in both foods and supplements may improve memory in patients with Alzheimer's. One small study found that supplementing with one selenium-rich Brazil nut a day improved verbal fluency and other mental functions in patients with mild Cognitive impairment. It's brilliant. I'm going to cut and paste that one sentence and put it on my, um, on my uh, Facebook page. Because come on. Cheers to Brazil nuts, right? 
What's more, the Mediterranean diet, which is rich in high selenium foods like seafood and nuts, has been associated with a lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. The Mediterranean diet is a little controversial, but it is certainly one of the better ones. Number five, it's important for thyroid health. Selenium is important for proper functioning of your thyroid gland. In fact, thyroid tissue contains a higher amount of selenium than any other organ in the human body. That's so weird, right? This powerful mineral helps protect the thyroid against oxidative damage and plays an essential role in the production of thyroid hormones. A healthy thyroid gland is important as it regulates your metabolism and controls growth and development. Selenium deficiency has been associated with thyroid conditions like Hashimoto's, thyroiditis, a type of hypothyroidism in which the immune system attacks the thyroid gland. An observational study, including over 6,000 people, again, that is significant, found that low serum levels of selenium were associated with an increased risk of autoimmune thyroiditis and hypothyroidism, which is a hyperlink. Additionally, some studies have shown that selenium supplements may benefit people with Hashimoto's disease, which a lot of people don't think they can do anything about, but of course, we know better. One review concluded that taking selenium supplements daily for three months resulted in lower thyroid antibodies. It also led to improvements in mood and general well-being in those with Hashimoto's disease. However, more research is needed before selenium supplements can be recommended for those with Hashimoto's disease. And again, we know they have to put that disclaimer in. Number six, it boosts your immune system. Yes, please. Right? Especially when as a teacher, I am always up against it because kids are just germy. Let's be fair. Um, but, you know, in this time of so many unknowns, as we have another variance and another variance um, of all these things, COVID, it's nice to know there's some ways to boost that immune system. Your immune system keeps your body healthy by identifying and fighting off potential threats. These include bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Parasites is just so creepy to me. <laughs> so creepy. Selenium plays an important role in the health of your immune system. The antioxidants help lower oxidative stress in your body, which reduces inflammation and enhances immunity. Studies have demonstrated that increased blood levels of selenium are associated with enhanced immune response. And I'll say on that when it says increased blood levels of selenium. Now remember, for those of you who are extreme thinkers or think more must be better, hold, hold that thought. Because again, it's suggesting that at best 28 milli MCGs, I think it's, well, no, one ounce, less than one ounce is best. Uh, but again, just maybe one to three, and even one is enough. Uh, but what's interesting is how it says blood levels of selenium, because if you're taking a supplement, there's a chance you're going to, a lot of it won't be absorbed, and most of it will just be urinated out. So uh, food is best, and if you can handle a Brazil nut, that's absolutely best. On the other hand, deficiency has been shown to harm immune cell function. It may lead to a slower immune response if you don't have enough. Studies have associated deficiency with an increased risk of death and disease progression in people with HIV, peace be with them, while supplements have been shown to lead to fewer hospitalizations and an improvement in symptoms for these patients. Additionally, selenium supplements may help strengthen the immune system in people with influenza, tuberculosis, and hepatitis C, and dare I say that they will add COVID-19 at some point. I don't know when this one was made. All right, help to reduce asthma symptoms. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, because of course, when I started to put back on weight, no surprise, everything came back, right? Um, praise God, I caught myself before I started drowning in my sleep with GERD and all those things. But my asthma, it's been up to no good, honestly. I'm, I'm still working my way back. You know, and that's fair enough. People always say, if you go back to a behavior, you're going to get what you had. <laughs> back when you were doing that behavior. I so get it. So asthma is a chronic disease that affects the airways that carry in and out of the lungs. These airways become inflamed and begin to narrow, causing symptoms like wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightening, and coughing. And all day I've been, <sighs> I'm a little better right now. But if I, I was 
pretending to lie down next to my husband, like to like cuddle him. I have to be careful because I'll let myself get tired and then I'll be so screwed because I have to keep the pace. So I'm like, dude, I cannot lay here very long. But even in that moment, uh, I started wheezing and I was like, oh, this is not good because I don't want to take my inhaler if I don't have to. Inhalers are helpful, but they are a medication foreign to the body that can reduce your life over time. These airways become inflamed. Yes. Asthma has been associated with increased levels of oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Due to selenium's ability to reduce inflammation, some studies suggest that this mineral may help reduce asthma-related symptoms. Research suggests that people who have asthma have lower blood levels of selenium. I'm going to find a way to get my selenium tested. In fact, one study showed that asthmatic patients with higher levels of blood selenium had better lung function than those with lower. Selenium supplements may also help reduce asthma-related symptoms. For example, one study found that giving people with asthma 200 mcg, and remember, just one Brazil nut is 175 mcg, of selenium per day reduced their use of corticosteroid medications used to control their symptoms. I welcome that. However, research is still needed in this area. <laughs> it's conflicting. Larger studies are needed. Blah, blah, blah. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. All right. Best dietary sources of selenium. Fortunately, many healthy foods are high in selenium. The following foods are great sources. And again, I, I'm vegan and I in no way will be part of any dead animals uh, to get my needs met. So number one is oysters, which in case you don't know, is alive and you have to kill it to eat it. You may not know that. You heard it here first that Jules was vegan. <laughs> so of course I had to go to the second most enriched selenium food, which is Brazil nuts. Um, third, halibut. May they rest in peace. Uh, fourth, Yellowfish tuna, God bless you all. Fifth, eggs. Now, I know people are vegetarian, but unless you're having your own little chicken who's producing those eggs and saying, here, please take one, please don't. Because if you know about industrial farming at all, it's bad news. It is bad news. Uh, but anyway, next one, same thing, sardines. God bless those little kids who thought they were going to live. Um, and then finally, sunflower seeds, yay. Um, chicken breast, that's a hard no. And shiitake mushrooms, yay. So as a vegan, I'm going to say Brazil nuts. <sighs> sunflower seeds, shiitake mushrooms. Are you kidding me? Everything else is animal derived. Yeah, oyster, halibut, yellow tuna, eggs, sardines, and chicken breast. Ugh. I'm so lucky that anything plant-based made the list. All right. The amount of selenium in plant-based foods varies depending on the selenium content of the soil in which they were grown. Thus, selenium concentrations in crops depend largely on where they are farmed. And they also said it was climate as well as soil so that um, it could vary up to 400. Uh, is it MCGs? Anyway, thus, uh, yeah. For example, one study showed that the selenium concentration in Brazil nuts varied widely by region, while a single Brazil nut from one region provided 288% of the recommended intake, others provided only 11%. So yeah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Therefore, it's important to consume a varied diet that includes more than one good source of this important nutrient. So. Again, shiitake mushrooms, that's a meat option, no fat of any kind. Um, sunflower seeds, very low in fat. And then Brazil nuts, again, you need very little of it. Of course, they have to warn us of the dangers of excessive selenium, and I don't mind, because I know there's extreme thinkers out there that always think more is better. Although selenium is necessary for good health, getting too much can be dangerous. In fact, consuming high doses of selenium can be toxic and even fatal. Fatal means dead, as in you will be. <laughs> While selenium toxicity is rare, it's important to stay close to the recommended amount of 55 mcg per day and never exceed 
the tolerable upper limit of 400 mcg per day. Brazil nuts contain a high amount of selenium. Consuming too many can lead to selenium toxicity. However, toxicity is more likely to happen from taking supplements. That's so true. Because the natural food, the body knows what to do with it. It knows how to break it down. It knows how to use it, you know, efficiently. When you put in, even though it's a supplement, but it's foreign um, and it's made in a lab, it's going to freak the body out a little bit. Um, so... Toxicity is more likely to happen from taking supplements rather than eating selenium-containing foods. Signs of selenium toxicity include hair loss, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, facial flushing, tremors, and muscle soreness. But let's be fair. You're totally informed to not exceed three Brazil nuts in a day. If you go beyond that and all of this happens, that is so on you. No offense, people. No offense. In severe cases, acute selenium toxicity can lead to serious intestinal and neurological symptoms, heart attack, kidney failure, and death. So sorry. Bottom line. Selenium is a powerful mineral that is essential in the proper functioning of your body. It plays a critical role in metabolism and thyroid function and helps protect your body from damage caused by oxidative stress. What's more, selenium may help boost your immune system, slow age-related mental decline, and even reduce your risk of heart disease. The micronutrient that can be found in a wide variety of foods, from oysters to mushrooms to Brazil nuts, is selenium. And adding more selenium-rich foods to your diet is an excellent way to maintain good health. All right, I appreciate that. I just didn't want to move on to another nut without really understanding the benefits of selenium. And now I know. What do you guys know? Anything? Let me know. Like if you like, join us if you haven't subscribed. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. Is this helpful for you? It is for me. And until we talk again, best of all. I don't know. You're blessed. You're for sure blessed. Plus, I pray for you guys. I'm blessed. I don't know if it's 100 degrees for you guys, though. It's going to be about 102 tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I'm in the high desert in California, but we're having a, sadly, we're having a heat wave and we're already in a severe drought. So if you're somewhere where you have way too much water, can you mail me some? <laughs> know that you're blessed.